You will use data tables when you'd like the reader to look up individual values and do exact one-to-one -one comparisons. Now, in a data table, you can also effectively present different types of data, such as costs, quantity, ratios, etc., all in one place. Now, let's have a look at the best practices when designing tables. Number one is to organize. Arrange your categories into groups whenever it makes sense. Items should have a clear sequence. If you're not sure, always put yourself in your reader's shoes. If you have ratios presented, these should come right after your variables that feed that ratio. If you're showing aggregated values, you should visually separate this from the rest of the data by either adding borders or color. Second is to focus on data. Keep the focus on your data by keeping the borders and grids very subtle, or simply just use white space for the grids between the data. Use very subtle fill color to assist the reader with horizontal scanning of values for larger data tables. Third, formatting. Numbers should generally be right aligned. This way the reader can compare the values with more ease than when they are centered or left aligned. How you present large numbers, negative and positive values, really depend on your country and on the organization you work for. So just do it the way your readers are used to seeing. Text, on the other hand, should generally be left aligned as here we read from left to right. So sometimes though when the text is short, you might prefer to center it or right align it to fit your table better. So use your judgment here. Text font should also be easy to read. So use simple fonts such as Arial or Verdana. Fourth is emphasis. If you'd like to bring the reader's attention to a certain number, you can use color or change its format, for example, to bold. If you'd like to bring the attention to a certain section of the table, especially when you do comparisons between one scenario to another, such as actual against budget, you can use symbols. Now remember, don't overemphasize and overdose on color and symbols. Keep your tables as simple as possible and bring attention only to areas that need attention most, which depends purely on the message that you want to communicate to your audience.